What is your best accidental nudity story? When I was a toddler, my grandmother was making me take a bath. When she looked away to pick the soap, I ran away, naked. About an hour later, the local postman returned me back in his messenger bag. Everybody but me remembers it. Lol I hope you rubbed your junk on a bunch of people's mail. I went to an all male secondary school, and, during one of our annual sports days, I was in the tug of war competition. I can't fully recall how it happened, but everyone else on my team let go of the rope at the same time, leaving me the fool who got dragged along the ground, pulling both my pants and underwear down. Upon retrospect, I'm surprised that the topic never brought up again or at least not in my presence. Neighbor's mom leaned over me while I was sitting on the floor playing Restomania 2000 while she had on a little pajama shirt fully exposing her whopping tea. Forever change me. Look junior. Puppies. When I was in high school, my friends and I had a water balloon fight in the park one afternoon. I was dealing with a lot of body image issues, but I'd finally worked up the courage to wear a bikini and felt great in it. After the fight, we all went for shaved ice in our swimsuits and sat around in a semi-large group, mixed gender, male and female, and casually ate our treats. After everybody left and it was just me and my female friend remaining, she calmly turned to me and said subdless suspenders, your right boob has been out this whole time. I looked down and sure enough. My titty had slipped out and sat proudly on display for the hour or so that we were at the shaved ice stand. No one said a word, not even the other girls in the group. Not the subtle suspenders. I was doing security at a warp tour about 10 years ago. There was a girl in your general punk rock miniskirt, little ripped, some chains, etc etc. I caught her from the crowd two or three times, each time her skirt was getting more ripped and disheveled. By the fourth time, it was barely there. Right before I caught her the last time, she had been surfing on her back. She then rolled onto her stomach. In that process, her skirt went entirely up to her waist and I got a full view of her butthole. On any other day, I'm sure her butthole was fine. But not this day. It twas an angry butthole. Ten hours in a parking lot during the summer will do that. Not me being naked but I witnessed it. My now ex-girlfriend before we met. We were at a party with mutual friends. Both of us ended up getting wasted. Well at some point she threw up on herself and her sister put her in the shower to clean up. Being drunk as I was I walked into the bathroom to throw up. Realize the shower is running after the initial heave. Look up to see her with the shower curtain completely open. Her. Oh if I can see you. You can see me. Me. Yeah that's how it works. Her. I'm probably naked, right? Me. Very, but nice. That is the story of how I met one of my favorite people, an ex-girlfriend. A friend of mine tried to send a silly snapchat to all of his friends where he covered his naked dong with a giant eggplant emoji. Snapchat however, was uncooperative and proceeded to send the unedited dong pic. He tried to explain by resending the picture with the eggplant back where it should be, but he just ended up sending another round of nudes friend. I would frequently get Mormon door knockers like every dang week to the point I would actually dread hearing someone knock on my door. No matter how many times I told them I wasn't interested they would continue to visit my house. One day I was home alone had just had a shower so I thought I might just spray tan myself. So I had just applied the spray and was walking around the house new letting it dry off. I was standing in the lounge watching TV now the front door is in the lounge room and there's a big window that's frosted. So you can't exactly see clearly but you can make out a person if you look through it. Well a couple of Mormons turn up start knocking and I'm standing there like crap how to get out of here without them seeing that I'm home. Well they saw I was home through the frosted glass and their knocking got more vigorous. I got peed off and said to myself frick it and opened the door naked. Mormons never annoyed my house again and I'm probably going to heck was sleeping over at a friend's house, woke up to use the bathroom. Friend's older sister exited the bathroom with a towel around her waist and I stood there dumbfounded seeing my first pair of tea. She smiled and headed to her room like nothing happened. I jacked off for the first time that night. You always remember your first. Back in high school I was reenacting a story about a friend of ours who had flashed some guys in a car. I lifted my hoodie in the flashing motion. I had forgotten that I wasn't wearing anything under my hoodie that day. 
So I actually flashed a bunch of my friends, including several guys. Girl I used to have a huge crush on. We were all staying at hers due to the weather making it horrendous to walk home. Got up in the morning, we all slept in her room. Four of us decided to watch a film in the morning, all got onto the bed. She leaned forward in a tank top, showed her boobs. They were small but they were great. Are there not great boobs? High school 11th grade English teach would sit directly in front of my desk while she was teaching going over vocab stuff. She would often wear long skirts, but when she sat would ride up a little. More than a few times she would sit with one leg on top of the other and switch legs. During the leg switch I had a pretty clear view of what was going on, and some days she didn't wear anything underneath. Not sure how accidental it really was. Well my sister had just had a baby, obviously a trying time for any new parent, so she was staying at the family home and I just happened to be staying there to home on holidays if I remember. Well new baby means lots of nosy people coming to offer their congratulations and bringing gifts etc. One morning, I hear the doorbell ring. No one around answering the door and the doorbell goes off again, so frick. I have to answer it. It being early in the morning and me being slightly hungover I decided to answer it. I threw on some bottom pajamas and a t-shirt. I sleep as Satan intended it, and ran downstairs and answered the door. One of the more posh neighbors was standing at the door, with a bag, asking how things were with the new kid and how everyone was getting on etc. We talked for a few minutes, me explaining that no one, but me was here. After finishing up talking she hands me the bag, a gift, and we part ways. I thought it weird why at this point, me closing the door, her eyebrow shot up, eyes looked away and her face turned like a horse had just crap in her car. Anyway, door closed I looked down and my whiner had been hanging out of my pajama bottoms the whole time. When I was stationed in Germany, I had this thing where I typically just be naked in my house at all times. My wife was taking a picture of some furniture in our house and she didn't catch that I was in the background, naked, browsing the internet on the computer. She then uploaded said pic to Facebook where a friend of hers called her and told her that I was naked in the background. I always sleep naked, and frequently wake up in the middle of the night to get water or pee or whatever. One night I went down to my kitchen to get a drink and the way the room is set up, the stairs come right down in view of the front door. I just happened to look at the door when I got to the landing and saw a man trying to open my door. He ran, I hid. Nobody wants to fight a naked man. It was a week before my first year of high school and everyone was in the stage room for orientation. I was just sitting there listening to the principal talk when I noticed he kept giving me funny looks and then immediately turning away all the time. Keep in mind I live in the south, so it's hot and sweaty this time of year. I was wearing some gym shorts but going commando. Turns out my shorts apparently had a hole in the bottom center so my sack was literally just hanging out while my legs were spread wide open. It wasn't until my mother whispered in my ear put your balls away that I realized why I was getting looks. My son was about a year old. I was carrying him in one arm and groceries in the other. We got into the elevator at our apartment building. There were three contractors in the elevator too. I was overtired and not paying attention then I realized they were all looking pointedly away from me. My son and pulled my shirt and bra down enough that my boob was completely out. Dang kids. My dad. My dad used to wear cut off jeans. AKA Daisy Dukes. I don't know why that's just what he did. He was picking us up from summer camp and was squatting putting some of our things together and his balls were straight up hanging out of his shorts. The whole cabin was just standing there staring at my dad's balls. I to this day don't think he even knew. I was too embarrassed to say anything. My swim trunks fell off at one of those jet wave pools when I was on a cruise. It was the second day into a 7 day cruise. I was surrounded by over 100 ppl. The force of the wave blew my swim trunks off and the water was cold. I was butt naked and felt great shame and my friends waiting in line pretended they didn't know me but I walked up to them anyways to high five. Those jet wave pools are no joke. Someone lost their speedo. I lived with my dad as a teenager, and unfortunately for me, my dad was the worst kind of uptight and conservative. Well, like most young teenagers, I had a healthy habit of fapping, and I did it quite often. You might can tell where this is going, 
One day, after school, I came home and decided to sit down in the living room and choke the old chicken in the recliner. I just so happened to have a new gaming magazine with me too, with a rather provocative picture of Lara Croft in it. So I opened the magazine, and there I sat, enjoying myself because nobody was home but me. Typically, my father would work very late into the afternoon, and being a single parent with only one child, I had nothing but time on my hands. Problem is, we had just moved into a brand new townhouse apartment, and I neglected to check the place first. Turns out, my dad was spying on me, hiding in the laundry room, having hid his car and snuck in through the back door. He caught me red-handed, at pretty much full mast. It was awkward the rest of the day. He gave me the silent treatment, took my magazine away, and told me I was sinful. In college I lived in a suite, but shared a bathroom. I was taking a shower because we were going to have people over that night. I had an N64 in my room which apparently a few of the people wanted to play. I was in the shower and was listening to music so I got out of the shower and was just looking down at my phone with my towel on. I wasn't really paying attention not expecting there to be like 10 people on my bed playing N64 but the first thing I did was shut the door and drop my towel then I looked up, yep everyone saw everything. Someone I know took a picture of his new TV and sent it to his friends. Little did he know that they could see him naked because of the reflect on the TV. Putting the D in HD TV. Company party. Buddy jumps into fountain, rips his jeans down the middle, didn't care. Takes off pants and helicopters for the whole company. Still gets brought up 7 years later. I had just had a shower and was wearing a t-shirt with no panties, when I realized I forgot my headphones at the living room. I run downstairs to get them, and as soon as I face the front door, I saw my brother's 14 year old friend staring at me. Thank god, I had shaved before. At 14 I am sure he did not care if you shaved or not, haha. <laughs> god bless water slides, 12 year old me watched a chick lose her top at the water park. She frantically searched for the missing garment while I stared slack jawed at the first set of titties I ever saw, but then the lifeguard points directly at me and blows the whistle. Thought I committed a crime or something, but nope, the missing top is floating right in front of me about waist level and here she comes reaching for it. Riding my bike to work one afternoon, feeling pretty good, rocking out with my earbuds in. A couple of cars honked at me. I waved because I'm friendly and I don't always think about things. Got to work and discovered that I had apparently torn a huge hole in the front of my shorts during my ride. Furthermore, the boxers I was wearing were rather old and loose. Additionally, I have a BMX that I pretty much am always standing up on while I ride it. So my dingle dangle was bouncing around for all of South Lamar to see. It was a very breezy ride though. Kinda felt nice. When I was in my early 20s, my then girlfriend and I went to the 24 hour race at Daytona. We camped in the infield for 3 days leading up to the race in a 12 person tent I bought on the cheap from Target. We had copious amounts of frick in the tent as well as a few less private places around the grandstands. We didn't get caught any of places we fricked except for the tent. It was early-ish morning on Saturday and my GF decides to wake me up with a BJ and once she had my attention, she climbed on top. I'm not sure when, but I noticed a slight breeze, which was nice because it was getting hot in there. After some time, I flip her over and start slamming home as she is stifling moans to the best of her ability. We both climax and I roll off of her and lay back, eyes closed, thinking my life is awesome. Then I hear a small scream and shuffling next to me. I sit bolt upright and look to see what the frick is going on. Turns out that slight breeze was the wind blowing open the door like tent flap and there were about 8-10 people milling about outside our neighbor's campsite. I reach over and snatch the flap shut, but it was too late. As soon as it closed, there was an audible sigh and then applause and a whistle or two. Man, that must have been fricking intense. I was nude intentionally but I accidentally flashed my neighbor just last night. I put my dog out through the back porch. 
The neighbors often sit on their back porch but it has a lattice work job on the side facing my house. If they're on the porch, they could see me but I would be obscured enough that I wouldn't really bother them. Late at night they're either inside or sitting on their porch smoking. I frequently put my dog out in the nude because who cares. Last night after my shower I go to put the dog out. I step on my porch in my birthday suit and lo and behold my neighbor isn't on her porch. She's in her driveway wearing one of those head mounted flashlights working on her bicycle. When she looks up as I step out her headlamp shines a spotlight right on my naked body. I'm comfortable in my skin but she was obviously flustered. She just said hi Jack, my dog's name, and I went back inside. When I was in my sophomore year of high school my group of friends and I, three boys four girls, went on a mini vacation during spring break. Everyone was getting ready to go but I was still laying in bed because the drive down was exhausting. So my roommate, best friend at the time, current so, said to catch up as soon as I got changed. Once she closed the door on her way out and I assumed I was the only person left in the house. I threw off my clothes and immediately went to grab my travel bag to look for my bathing suit. I realized I left it in the living room and since I heard the front door shut I was sure it was just me there. I ran out to the living room, which was directly in front of the front door, fully new to get my bag, and right when I'm bending over to pick it up the front door swings open. There I am, wet noodle in full view and the four girls all slowly fixing their surprised eyes on it. They just shut the door and commenced to start yelling at me to put something on you freaking freak. So I run back to my room. By the time I came back out from my room they all had shocked expressions and were deathly silent. I ask how much they saw and my best friend mutters under her breath was the AC on full blast or something. A very red face and a room full of laughter broke the tension. But yay it was cold. Told the guys later and all they said was should have raised the heat. I was talking to a fairly attractive girl in 7th grade science class. We were standing in front of one another before the beginning of class when a so called friend walks up behind me and pants me. I was wearing very slick basketball shorts and cotton boxers underneath and I blame that for what happened next. He not only grabbed the shorts but my boxers too and proceeded to pull them down to my ankles. The look of horror on that girl's face will forever be burned into my skull. I didn't know what to do, neither did she. She did tell the teacher who spoke with my friend, who was not my friend after that point on. I think he received like a month of detention. Still not enough for the emotional scarring that occurred that day. That boy ain't right. I wasn't accidentally nude, and not really accidentally seen nude but, here it goes. I was 19, and my boyfriend and I were in the shower together. It was our routine, I'd spend Saturday night at his house, and Sunday morning we'd shower have shower freak. This ritual started while he still lived at home, but carried over when he moved out with roommates. The shower at this apartment had the fog glass sliding door, so we're in there, minding our business when one of his roommates knocks on the bathroom door, says he has to take a pee, so my boyfriend yells, okay, come in. His roommate comes in, sees my pile of clothes on the floor and says, Oh no, I know she's in there my boyfriend convinced him it was fine, since the door was closed and you couldn't see anyway. So roommate comes in, takes his pee and is then washing his hands. My boyfriend was not a super coordinated guy, so I don't know how he managed this maneuver. But in one swift motion he pushed me to the opposite end of the shower, and opened the door, yelling his roommate's name. Guy got a full view of all my cash and prizes. First the front, then the back as I tried to scamper out of view. You have been visited by the magical duck you don't have to do anything he will simply give you a good day today. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.